Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ecobee 3 Lite Smart Thermostat. Comes with the whole home sensors, which is these two sensors here. This one's the temperature sensor and occupancy sensor, and this one is a window or door sensor. Let's take a look at what we get. So the Smart Thermostat, the hardier Ecobee Home, a smart sensor, a smart sensor for doors and windows and the Ecobee Haven, which I think is just a service on your smartphone or a subscription service that you can connect your Ecobee to security and stuff like that with the door sensor. Okay, so this is from Costco. So this one we get the Ecobee 3 Lite smart thermostat a smart sensor and a smart sensor for doors and windows the install guide backplate trim plate and all the things that you need to connect it, it supports wi-fi which is the just 2.4 gigahertz not the 5 gigahertz it doesn't have amazon alexa or anything like that built in but it does work with an alexa if you have one so we can see here works with amazon alexa home kit google assistant IFTTT and Samsung Smart Things. Awesome. I obviously am with Samsung. So it should work with my Smart Things here, which is excellent. Let's get this guy open. Okay. Nice packaging. Looks like it's a uh, recycled material probably. And here's our thermostat. Get that up front. And this would be your smart sensor got a magnetic base interesting it doesn't screw on so it just kind of snaps together here interesting this is going to be the door and window sensor here so I guess you to scan this little QR code here, register it with your Ecobee, and this will be the other side of the door or window, so it detects if your door or window is open when they are near each other. So we'll probably put that on our front door or our back door. Anything else here? Welcome guide. Installation book and manual, quick start guide. And we'll probably need an installation manual. To install it and replace our old thermostat. We currently just have a basic one. I'll have to look at that when we install it. We also get some thermostat wiring labels. These are the stickers so that you know which wire is which. Complete French manual where we are in Canada. What else do we get here? A bag of screws and drywall mounts. Not completely sure. This is something to do with the wiring.
And then you get your wall plate. You're to mount this to where your wires come out of your wall through here. Mount this and then your Ecobee will sit on that. See? And then the decorative cover. If your hole in your wall is much larger than the Ecobee itself, then you can put this decorative cover and that would cover it. Not sure if I'll need this or not. I don't think the hole I have is much larger than this here. So we'll see if it looks nice or if uh, we need the small cover. It comes with it. Okay, and that's everything that comes in the box. Once I have it set up, I'll get some footage of that and maybe some footage from the smart things on the phone or from the Alexa, and we will take a look. Okay, so this is the old Honeywell thermostat. Pretty basic. Let's pop this off and see what we have. Let's run on batteries. And this is the wires that we have. Okay, so we don't have a C wire, so we'll need to go to page 40, which is to install the power extender kit. Okay, so let's head down to the furnace and take a look at that. Okay, we've got our furnace and way up here we've got our power switch for the furnace I'll turn it off so that we can take out our thermostat okay so we're all wired up we took the furnace we took the thermostat wires here and we put them into the corresponding and then we took the PEK power extender kit wires and we plug them in there the furnace power is off so it was pretty easy just to line up the PEK wires they're labeled pretty clearly and the corresponding screws that they go in you just loosen the screw you put the wire in tighten the screw back down your thermostat wires you put into the corresponding I took these wires out of these screws here and these are labeled, so I just took one at a time, the W, the G, R, and Y, I think it was, and right away just put it one at a time into the PEK. The PEK has a magnetic base, so it just sticks to the side of the inside of the furnace there, which works great. Let's go install the thermostat. Okay, so once we have our Ecobee app installed, we can see it here. We can go ahead and we can add our sensors. We just click the plus button at the top left, select which sensor you have, and follow the instructions. In my case, we had a smart sensor. We click on let's get started at the bottom. We scan our QR code. And then we pull the tab out of the smart sensor, it detects it. And then we can name it, and it will detect it, and it will add it. We select which comfort settings the smart sensor will apply to. So, for instance, if you have one in your bedroom, and you set this smart sensor to apply only to your sleep comfort setting, the temperature sensor will be read and applied during your setup sleep hours. And during the day where there's nobody in the bedroom, then you don't want these comfort settings set to the temperature readings from the bedroom. It's a little bit complicated, but once you understand how it works, it's fairly easy. 
but we don't want any of these temperature sensors for mine. And then you just go ahead and you place your smart sensor where you want it according to the placement specifications here. And then you're done. And then you can see here the contact sensor was the same thing. I placed mine at my back sliding door. You click on plus, contact sensor, follow the instructions and it should get added. Now, if we want to add this to our Samsung smart things, it's just as easy. So we can swipe down and go to devices. We click on the small smart things icon. We click on the plus button. And we can see here we have some things that we can add. We can add a device, a service, a scene, automation, all sorts of things. So in our case, we're going to select a device because we're going to be adding the Ecobee thermostat, which will also add the service along with it. So I'm going to search by brand. We'll go down and we'll select the Ecobee app and we'll select the Ecobee brand. We'll select thermostat, Ecobee devices. Where do we want to add it? It's going to be home and it's going to be my home room in my smart things setup. We'll go next. It's going to ask us to sign into our Ecobee account on auth.ecobee.com. I have multi-factor authentication, so I will fill that in now. And once you sign into your Ecobee account, you'll get a status message. The connection between smart things and Ecobee is successful. You can close that screen. And you're presented with this. We can see here we have our home and our downstairs. We select done and then we'll be brought to our smart things. We can go to the bottom here and select devices. And that will bring us to our devices in our smart thing. For home, where we set it up, we see we have downstairs and home. The home is the thermostat. We can select that and we can see here we get all the information from there. And it's pretty straightforward layout nothing too complicated we can select automations at the bottom and we can set up some automations based on statuses of your phone or your temperature things like that okay, and we can back out of there and we can go to a history and we can see the history of the temperature and the cooling points whether it was turned on or off and stuff like that and you can do the same thing for the smart things sensor that we got the smart sensor we can select history and we can see the temperature, whether or not there was motion detected or if there was a presence in the room detected by the smart sensor. And you can set up automations for that as well. Now, the one disappointing thing that I came across here was the fact that the contact sensor did not show up in the smart things devices. It should because it does have a motion sensor and a contact sensor on it. I do want it to show up in here. I don't know why it's not showing up. I did send a support email to the Ecobee support to see if it should show up. If it's possible to show up in the SmartThings app, you can set up automations for the doors opening and closing. You can get a text or an alarm or a notification on your phone if that contact sensor becomes opened or if there's motion sensed in that room or near that door. You can do things like lowering the temperature or turning off your air conditioning or heating when the sensor is opened, which would be fantastic. So if I get an update from Ecobee support, I will update in the comments or in the description of the video. I hope this video has encouraged you and given you some insight into the Ecobee environment and how to get things set up on your smart things with your Samsung Galaxy phones. It's not that difficult and the instructions are actually pretty fantastic. Don't be too scared to get it done. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.